What's up guys? Uh, if you're seeing this, uh, it means I'm on vacation. So this is my vacation video. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different because I'm um, having to film it after work. So uh, uh, just bear with me and wish me a good, good time on this boat no more. <laughs> but um, today I'm going to be uh, starting the uh, hydro ram conversion, hydro pneumatic whatever ram conversion on my uh, tube bender. I've got a Woodward Fab uh, bender. That's a good little bender. Uh, I just like to be able to uh, roll it around and not have to anchor it down to the floor to, you know, bend tube with it. So, um, we're going to start with this guy right here. Um, this is a Swag Air Hydro Ram Mount kit. Um, they cut it all out and bend it all up and, and ship it over to you so you can weld it and uh, go to town. Uh, I planned on making one of these myself. I just don't have time. Uh, and as cheap as this thing is, it, you'd almost be dumb not, not to pick it up. Uh, everything's in real good shape. I mean, all the edges are, are uh, nice and clean. Um, and it looks like it's going to be a pretty good kit. So, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so, I'm just going to go to town and start welding. Um, and then I'll show you a little bit more about it once I get all the welding on it done. Alrighty, so um, I, it's a couple days later and I got the bracket all welded together um, and I also got the bottle jack from, or the hydraulic jack, whatever the fuck you want to call it, from Harbor Freight put together. I had hell bleeding it. Um, I followed the instructions and fucked it all up and overfilled it and I couldn't get the damn thing to go back down. And then I got pressure on it and I pulled the filler cap off and just doused the whole fucking garage with uh, hydraulic fluid. But I finally got it figured out, um, so it's good to go now. The kit itself uh, is is good to go, but I want to make another modification to the tube bender before we put the kit on it. So that's where I'm at right now with it. Um, this is it all welded up with my shitty welds all over it. Um, and then uh, what it is is the bottle jack will fit in here and this clamps it down. So, um, this this piece is uh this this whole little kit is has been great um so far uh everything's fit together real good they even give you this nifty little cap uh turner cap for the valve on the bottle jack um which is 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 real handy it was kind of a pain in the butt to put on but that's not their fault that's harbor freight's fault for pressing their pins in all crooked and shit um but this is all ready to go um and now i'm going to make a piece for the bender um, and we'll get started on that and I'll show you what it is in just a sec. Okay, so I'm sure as you figured out, uh, all I built was a stand for it. Um, the reason it's on rollers now, as opposed to before, 
is now with the ram uh, it doesn't have to be anchored to the floor um it has to be anchored to the floor without the ram because you i mean you have to put manpower behind it to to ratchet it to bend the tube but now the ram will do all the work um so it makes it a lot easier just to put it on rollers and i can roll it around you know the garage this huge garage i have um but it also help you know i can drag it out when i need to drag it out and kind of roll it over here in the corner when i don't need it this fucker is really really heavy um i know i probably don't look it but it's it's fucking heavy uh my scrawny ass can barely lift it up on the stand um so nothing crazy here um some two inch square tubing uh 30 inches long 14 inches long 14 inches long welded together uh eighth inch little plates drilled and tapped with two long bolts in them um they're ugly just welded right there it's harbor freight casters um and it's good to go uh i was worried that it might be a little top heavy well it's obviously it's top heavy but i was worried that it might be top heavy enough to you know tip over but it seems like it's good even with a piece of tube in it it should be good um but we also don't have the ram on here yet uh the ram raise, weighs a shitload so i'm gonna go ahead and stick it on here and then uh maybe we can test it out Alrighty, so it's put together. Um, I had a little bit of trouble uh, with the bronze bushings um, that go in here. Let me show you. Uh, there's a bushing right there that goes inside that collar and a bushing right there that goes inside of that. See, you can see it right there. Um, they were too thick. Uh, when I tightened everything up, when I tightened these two bolts up, it wouldn't let this rotate at all. I mean, at all. Like, I beat it with a hammer and it wouldn't rotate. Um, so I shaved them down a little bit. I don't know, maybe if Swag ever sees this, which I doubt they will, but uh, you could tell me what I did wrong there or, or, or what the deal is. Um, but it's together other than that. Uh, they sell a bungee cord for this thing to make it retract back on its own. And I think I might need that because this fucker does not want to retract uh but here i'm gonna turn the air onto it and let's see if you can see it work oh it would help if i close the fucking bleeder screw on it all right So, there you go. You open it up and then uh, obviously it doesn't retract on its own. But uh, I mean, I, it takes a lot of force to get it to retract. And that's also uh, on like 40 PSI. I mean, it's not on anything. The, the RAM says it can run at 110 to 120 PSI. Um, so I imagine that 110, 120 PSI is gonna be shitting again. Um, and even so, as slow as it's moving, that is 100 times faster than doing it by hand. Um, so if I could just figure out how to get it to retract good, I might just get a damn trampoline spring or something. I, I don't know. Their little spring's like 30 bucks. Um, but it seems like it's going to work. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I don't have any tube to bend. So uh, I probably won't get to use it until I start actually building the, the sets of trailing arms. Um, but it does take up a little more room than what it did originally. So it takes up quite a bit of room, but uh, it's all automated now. Not automated. It's uh, not man-powered anymore, I guess you'd say. So there it is in all of its glory. Uh, luckily, it still fits in the same spot where it fit before. I'm glad it fit in the same spot as before because I don't have any room to spare in here for anything. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with the plasma table when it shows up. Um, Thanks for sticking it out through another short video, like always. Um, the uh, By the time you see this, I should be on my way back 
from Mexico, but um, I'm on vacation. I've never taken a vacation in my life. Uh, probably wouldn't be taking a vacation if I didn't get pushed into it. Um, but I'm sure it's it's much needed. Um, I know it's much needed. So um, hopefully next week uh, we're going to be going to a couple towns over to a junkyard. Uh, there's supposed to be a good part uh, up there, judging from online. I don't know if it's still there or not. But uh, I think me and Dallas and maybe Colby might go up there. Um, so stick around for that next week. Uh, if you haven't subscribed and you like what I'm doing here, subscribe. If you want to support the channel, check out the website. It's in the description. Pick up a shirt or some stickers or a hoodie or anything. Um, let me know what you think about the channel in the comments. And uh, I will see y'all hopefully at the junkyard next weekend.